I see exporting as one of the greatest strategic efforts we can undertake to build a stronger local economy. That's why we do it. Phoenix Mayor Greg Stanton says exports give Arizona's economy the edge. The reality is right now as we speak, over 100,000 Arizona jobs are directly tied to exporting. Arizona exports are valued at $22 billion, among the top 20 states in the nation. 79% of those exports are from the Sun Corridor, made up of Maricopa, Pinal, and Pima counties. These exports range from aviation and agriculture to solar energy and skin care, from high-tech diagnostics to simple daily pleasures, such as a cup of tea or a handful of pecans. We have a big processing plant here um, in Salarita where we process pecans 50 weeks a year and then we sell them around the world. Um, half of our business is export. Bruce Karras is the Chief Operating Officer of the Green Valley Pecan Company, located south of Tucson. So on our two farms in Arizona, we have almost 300,000 trees planted, and that will give us on an annual basis over a billion individual pecan nuts, which we process one at a time. Kara says exporting helps reach new markets in the off-season, creating a diversified customer base. But in Europe, we didn't go over there and say you stick them in a pecan pie. Uh, we went over and said, here's a great nut, a good tasting nut. So it became a, a product that's used 12 months a year over in Europe a lot quicker than it, than it has here in the USA. From the farm to the computer. And here we can see where some of those focal areas were. And a new technology known as eye tracking. Well, with eye tracking, what we use is a number of fixations on the eye, corneal reflections, um, to determine where precisely that person is looking so that you can basically use your eyes as a mouse on a computer to control whatever button or, or icon on the screen. Simon Prosser is Business Development Director of iTech Digital Systems. Eye tracking can be used in a variety of industries, from automotive and aerospace to disability markets and medical diagnostics around the world, increasing sales and growth here at home. That in turn allows us to bring back more and more um, production here into Arizona, um, allows us to become more efficient and allows us to expand our manufacturing capabilities back here in Arizona. From hundreds of employees to a handful, many companies that export are family businesses. So I have my mother work part-time when she can, I have my nephew work part-time when he can, and I have my sister-in-law work part-time, but when it's not tax season. Orange yellow is only used on trainers. Scott Cohen and his father Martin own True Color Paint. They make paint for model railroads, cars, military armor, and more. Scott says foreign markets boost sales and bring fresh ideas. We now have more contacts outside of North America than I have inside of North America. People who are willing to share not only their knowledge, but also their modeling techniques with us. Dealing with different cultures can be a challenge. For us as a company, trying to understand how nuts are used in each of these countries and then incorporating our marketing material and showing them the versatility of pecans in the diet that exists within their culture. Another challenge, figuring out the regulations. Sit down and actually think about how do I ship to Australia versus finding a box putting the stuff in a box, going over to USPS.com, and then just shipping it. That's where Sun Corridor Edge comes in. Programs such as Export Tech, provided by the Arizona Commerce Authority and U.S. Commercial Service, give technical assistance and build best practices. And maybe it's some of the legal issues associated with exporting. Maybe it's just understanding customs and practices in other countries. Maybe it's just figuring out which marketplace around the globe best fits the product or service that an Arizona or Phoenix-based company uh, is looking for. EDGE promotes and supports businesses who export and gives them the tools to succeed. But to educate the small and medium-sized businessman or woman on what are the pitfalls, what should you be doing, here's a checklist of do's and don'ts for exporting. I, to me, that's one of the most meaningful things. The person who runs AZ Step 
really has become a mentor to me. He's shown me uh, step by step what I was supposed to be looking for. And I wouldn't have known half of this if I never even went uh, looking for an export market. Mayor Stanton says the companies being recognized today show that every size and type of business can successfully export. When they see those other success stories, people that are just like them, that were literally sitting in the exact same seat that they're sitting in now a year ago, uh, and they've moved on to greater success, greater profitability because of the decision to enter the, the export marketplace, hey, that's what the program is really all about. A special thank you to all the businesses being recognized for their exporting achievements. And thanks to all of our partners for making the Sun Corridor Edge program possible.